Michael Vonnen. Welcome to the Tolkien Lore Channel. I'm the Tolkien Geek. And in this video, I want to kind of do a review of 2018, which was, a, you know, one of probably a pretty good year for me as far as I'm concerned, and take a look at what we're going to be doing in 2019. And part of that has to do with some of the stuff that I got for Christmas this year. So it'll also be kind of a post-Christmas idea, too. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So first of all, I would like to point out that in 2018, I finally hit 1,000 subscribers, and I am now almost up to 1,500, which, you know, doesn't seem like much for a lot of the big channels out there, but I was late to the game, so I'm feeling pretty good about it, and I'm happy with the way things are going right now. Uh, also, uh, I've changed the format of my videos over time, as you've probably noticed if you're a long-time viewer, and I'm continuing to kind of tweak that and probably going to be tweaking it a bit more in the future. Ironically, I started doing the videos without the music in the intro and outro just because it saved me a lot of editing time. Uh, not because I had a copyright strike, but right after I did the first video without music, I got a copyright strike on one of mine, which I didn't, I don't think it really is worthy of a copyright strike because it's a couple seconds, but I didn't want to fight it. But anyway, point being, uh, I'm pretty happy with the way the format is now, but you will continue to see improvements. And one of those improvements you may be noticing already, I've actually got better audio now because I have an actual standalone mic, which I haven't had before up to this point, and got that for Christmas. So that's one thing that's going to be improved about this. So thanks to the person who got me that, which none of you know that person that's in my family, but... Um, if you're listening, Sarah, then thank you very much for the mic. So the audio quality should be a lot better now. And I'm going to be continuing to do other things, hopefully, over time to improve the channel. One other way that um, I'm planning to do a little bit better in terms of just the overall presentation is I finally got some software to help me make, you know, take clips from the actual movies to incorporate into my videos. So that'll be nice as well. I haven't done that as much in the past just because I'm running this on such a shoestring that I really didn't have a way to do it. I did have one piece of software that was capable of doing it, but the computer update, I'm working on a Mac, and then the, the Mac update kind of killed that functionality, so I just couldn't couldn't do it until recently. So you'll start to see a lot more of that. Um, that's, you know, kind of looking back at the way my channel has changed and the way it's hopefully going to get even better over time. Now let's take a look at some of what I got for Christmas and how what that means for 2019, because that should be pretty exciting. Before I get to the really cool stuff, I do want to point out a couple of things that won't be major for the channel itself, but which are pretty neat. For one, I got this, which is actually from the Cannes Film Festival. They were handing this out. Pretty cool. Also, I got the Proverbs of Middle-Earth, which that's not going to become like a big thing in the channel, but I will eventually do a book review on it because it should be really interesting. Another thing I got, which again won't really change the channel at all, is I finally got the Blu-ray extended edition of the movies. So that's that's really nice. I already had the DVDs extended version, but this is a pretty nice set, and the DVDs were technically on loan from my parents, so... <laughs> uh, It'll be nice to give those back to them and have my own set. So that's nice. Now for the really good stuff. Speaking of movies, the 1978 Ralph Bakshi, or Bakshi. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce his name. I'm sorry if I mangled that. But this is one that I, I didn't exactly grow up with it because I actually grew up with the Rankin-Bass Return of the King. But we did rent this one a couple times. And I enjoyed it, and I'm looking forward to watching it again because it's been a long time, and I will eventually do a video, maybe more than one video, taking a look at this version, comparing it to the Peter Jackson films, that sort of thing, because Peter Jackson obviously took a lot of inspiration from this version and also deviated from it in a lot of ways, and I want to look at a lot of different aspects of that. Another really, really neat thing that I got... I don't know if you can read that very well, but it's the BBC radio dramatization from back in the, I think, 1980s with Ian Holm as Frodo. And of course, if you know your stuff, you know Ian Holm played Bilbo in the Peter Jackson version. So he's kind of uh, playing two different roles in two different aspects. But 
I'm really looking forward to that. It's 13 hours plus of material, so it's even longer than the extended versions of all the Peter Jackson movies put together, so it's plenty long, and I'm looking forward to listening to that, and I'll eventually hopefully do a review of that as well. Now, some of you may know from watching my videos or seeing stuff in the comments, I had the Silmarillion, of course, but my copy I had loaned out, and I never got it back. If you're watching this video and you happen to know what I'm talking about, and you know who you are. I don't necessarily think it was out of malice or anything like that, probably forgetfulness, but uh, now I have a new copy of the Silmarillion, and one of the things that I've been wanting to do with this channel for a while, and because I didn't have a copy and couldn't really do, is start to really do some synopses of the Silmarillion. I know a lot of people who are familiar with Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit are interested in the Silmarillion, but for one reason or another are either afraid to start it, or when they do start it, can't really get into it, because it's a very different style, a very different kind of storytelling. So I want to do a bunch of synopses of the Silmarillion to kind of really give people an idea of what the stories are to give them either a reason to jump in, or if they just can't bring themselves to actually read it, at least they'll know what the stories are and won't have to rely on hearsay or, you know, just kind of figuring out skimming through the book or something like that. I'm going to try to hit a lot of the detail without making it overly long and really cover a lot of material there. So right now I'm working my way through the Lord of the Rings, so that won't start probably for another couple of months at best, but I do plan to at least start that in 2019, hopefully even get through all of it in 2019. So that's a big thing to look forward to uh, this coming year. And now uh, this one, I don't know exactly how much it will affect the channel, but this is the Lord of the Rings, A Reader's Companion, and it's basically like an annotated Lord of the Rings without the Lord of the Rings. So it's basically just annotations, and it's, as you can see, it's a pretty thick book. It's a lot of annotations, and they reference Tolkien's letters, they reference all kinds of other materials that can help give a little bit deeper knowledge of what's going on in a given passage in the Lord of the Rings. So... That'll just kind of help generally in the channel in terms of figuring out what, you know, what a passage's significance is or that sort of thing. It may pop up here and there. It won't be obvious because it'll just kind of be in the background. Uh, but I will try to make reference specifically to it as uh, as I actually use it. So anyway, those are some of the things that I'm planning to do in the future with this channel and some of the ways that I'm hoping to improve. Uh, and... Like I say, the big the big thing hopefully to look forward to this year is is really the Silmarillion stuff because I really have wanted to get into that for quite some time. Eventually, I will probably do some stuff on the Peter Jackson Hobbit. I don't know how soon that'll be just because I really have a distaste for some of that material. Uh, I do own the movies, but getting myself to watch them again might be difficult. Eventually, I would also like to cover the Rankin-Bass uh, movies, both The Hobbit and Return of the King. But those are getting really hard to find. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see if that happens in the future. It may or may not. Anyway, that's kind of what I wanted to share with you. This uh, It's New Year's Eve when this is going to be published. So looking forward to the new year. Hope, hope you're looking forward to the new year with the stuff that I have planned. And if you have any other ideas, of course, for anything to cover do leave those ideas in the comments. With that said, I hope you had a great 2018. Hope you're going to have a great 2019. Hope we can keep getting more subscribers into the channel. If you know somebody else who's really interested in learning about Tolkien, and especially the Silmarillion, this would be the year to subscribe, because I'm really going to start hammering that once I can finish my current read through The Lord of the Rings. I'm moving on to the Silmarillion, and I am going to really chug through it. Another thing I should have mentioned um, I didn't get this new. I've had The Children of Hurin for a while, but I do plan to also do a book review of that eventually after I finish the Silmarillion stuff because it's a very different, unlike the Baron and Luthien Fall of Gondolin stories, which are kind of in the same vein, it's just one cohesive story, and so it really deserves special treatment, and I'm going to have to read through the whole thing to really do a good review of that, but that's a separate topic. So anyway, like I say, if you know anybody that's really interested in the Silmarillion, this is the year to start following the channel, so uh, please get them to do that. Uh, 
And if you're interested in the Silmarillion and haven't subscribed, then please do subscribe. I will be tackling that in the near, near-ish future, definitely in 2019. Uh, you can subscribe by clicking this button here. Uh, you can also check out my previous videos here. And until next time, I'm the Tolkien Geek signing out for the Tolkien Lore Channel. Namadie.